Oh, and welcome. So this is a special tutorial for my wonderful, cute little son, Shashan, who is the master of Shashan.pro, the, the coolest website that is right now out on the internet. If you haven't checked it out, you should check it out, people. Uh, anyway, I don't know if this is going to be a public video, but Shashan, this is for you. So right now, <coughs> here is the the website and today what we're gonna do is actually we are gonna build this uh, Bible story section so as you know we already have a similar section like this called the news update section and I have a few problems with this new up news update section but again we did this as a lesson uh, when Shashan when you were learning um, coding you know so I made a very basic I t uh, showed you a very basic way to do this uh, and it's not the best way because as you can see all your articles are showing on one page you have some excellent articles here but they're all showing on one page right so this is not so great what we need to do is we need to make it more organized and also we don't need to show every single article on one page and we don't need to show all the content on the same page that is not very neat so what we're going to do is first thing we're going to make it a very neat neat site but i'm not going to update this section i'm going to do that from scratch on the bible section i'm going to show it to you and i'm going to erase all my work so that you can do this by following these instructions on the video so that you can learn okay so here we go first of all take another look at the news section you see that it's a wonderful section with lots of cool stuff but it's also very messy because there is a lot of content in fact all the content on the same page <coughs> bible section <coughs> okay what we need to do now is open our coding editor and first thing we need to do is <coughs> do a cut on start to make sure that we can do qpm commands and also make sure that the server is running the server is already running but we are going to just restart it anyway. <coughs> so while that is restarting, okay, it's all restarted. So remember this terminal you can always use to do the upload when you're finished. Okay, and press enter. But right now there's nothing for us to upload. Everything is the latest version. So we're going to not do anything we are going to start upgrading the Bible section. So, Bible section, if you remember, the Bible stories has a controller. This is the controller for the Bible section. And right now, it's not sending any data to the view. Because, of course, we don't have anything to send. And the view is this file. Where is it? Uh, Bible stories main. See? Error coming soon. Error coming soon, right? So this is the view, this is the controller, the controller is not sending anything. So before we can actually send some data, one, we need to create a data structure with a model uh, and a database and to do that we need a migration and that's what we're going to do now. Once we create it, we need to add some dummy uh, articles, Bible stories, so that we can test it. So let's get started. First thing we need to do we need to just like the news section we need to create a model so qpm create model we'll call it uh, oops bible story now that word you know what let's call it bible article okay we'll call it bible article just like a news article but bible article so now we create that we uh, and also oh sorry before we do that we also need to put migration and I will show you why we need a migration okay so this is the command QPM create capital C create model Bible underscore article and then you put dash dash migration which is an option it is a command option great now everything is created for us Katan has done all the hard work okay thank you Katan so now what we need to do is look at our 
mo uh, migration so if you see database file database migrations inside here you have this new one which says bible article right so right now uh, it's been populated with some a basic name and timestamps so these timestamps will create some automatic stuff you don't need to worry about that right now it's just for tracking you should always leave that generally uh, unless for special reasons you should not remove that so right now just like the news one we are going to create several fields but I want to actually create a few more fields for the Bible articles so first of all we'll give it a title we'll call this title okay each article is going to have a title it's going to be a type string string is like basically like words but not too long okay so like a couple of sentences could be uh, fit into a string type and we don't want it to be null meaning you don't want it to have it empty if, if you ever submit an empty one we will display the default untitled so the title will be untitled by default if you don't give it anything so now we'll copy this we'll create another field called uh, what shall we call this summary okay now we have a summary but this summary is also going to be a string and again untitled now we'll create a third one we'll call this uh, the story or shall we just call it the body of the article right article body uh, there we go so article body and this one actually I want to be able to have a rich text editor so I'm gonna call it a text text field and here one more thing we're gonna have an author and this is also gonna be a string now for this author thing there's a better way to do it we can create a separate database for just authors and then link to that and then make sure make a way to select which author from a list but we're not gonna do that just to keep it simple I'm just gonna say author and you can write in the name manually okay without selecting from a text uh, sorry from a list now this migration has been created now if you go to the admin dashboard real quick okay uh, if we refresh it two things will happen first thing is oh sorry we had to link, link, log in again first thing is we will see the Bible article uh, new section that we created because we have that model now right if you look at your model section see we have a new model but we haven't executed or we haven't installed this Bible articles migration migrations when you see create it you always have to install it and the reason for that is first of all you need to design the structure of the Bible uh, of sorry of the of the database table once you design the structure then you have to install it to the database so right now if you click this we are gonna get an error see this page is not working because it doesn't actually exist the migration has not been installed so if you type QPM you'll see that we have a migrate command right so we use that uh, we use the help feature let's see so we have an install command a revert command a list command let's just try the list command just for fun so here we see all the migrations that are on the system these are installed the ones in green the chatter code message news these are already installed but this new one that we just created we just wrote the uh, code for it it has not been installed yet so to install it we got to do qpm migrate install and voila now if we do qpm migrate list again you'll see that it is already installed okay and if you refresh this uh, you don't have to refresh it if you just go here now you see title summary author and these created an update on are coming from the timestamps as I said before these are special because of this if you didn't if you removed this like this then it would have not showed up but because we had it we have those as well so ID is also automatically generated always so title title summary summary body oops where's the body the body is missing why is that oh of course because because it's a text field the body will never be displayed 
in this listing in order to see the body you will have to go into it see body okay so you have body author that's where you type the name and these things are automatic so I'm actually gonna test Bible test Bible article 1 oops that's not how you spell Bible <laughs> let me just fix that again real quick test a uh, Bible article 1 uh, let's just use this dummy text now this is a short dummy text I'm gonna do the same thing here but let's make it much longer okay uh, let's put how about uh, horizontal oops what is this page break no we don't need that this is fine okay so now we have a dummy article so now I'm gonna say the author is Shashan's dad aka Tati okay <laughs> and we save it now we have our first article you see the title summary author if you really want to see the body you have to click on it and then you see the body as well and of, of course you can edit it but now I'm gonna clone it because I want to have at least 15 of these so let's quickly do this cloning I'm gonna clone this guy okay give me a few seconds to do this I'm gonna do it as fast as I can and you will see why I'm doing this actually because we want to test it in a very specific way when I say specific way remember in the news articles uh, I told you that everything is getting displayed on every page on the same page right the news articles if you go to that news article section you see that everything every single article that you create is on the same page and if you have a million articles all million articles are gonna come on the same page which is not good so imagine uh, how long that would take for the browser to load one million articles on one page right it's gonna take forever and it's gonna be very bad and the user will have to wait and they'll have to scroll forever and ever and they will get confused because everything is all in one page so that's not a good solution but what if there was only 10 articles per page right wouldn't that be great if there were only 10 articles per page so that's what we're gonna try to do here so I'm gonna create about 15 articles I'm just copying the same article over and over with the exception of the the title because then we can see that there's a difference right so I'm gonna just create you know what I'm gonna create 13 articles because I love the number 13 because uh, two favorite two of my favorite people were born on on 13th of uh, of two different months so I love the number 13 so I'm gonna uh, create 13 articles and if we go back to our list we'll see that all these 13 articles are there and you know how we have this previous one two next we should have the same solution for the actual website on this page instead of having it like the news update section where everything is on the same page okay we should have it the same way as this and also the body should not be shown on the main page we should only have the title and the summary okay like here we are showing the body see these images and the body text it's all on one page but on the Bible section we just want the title and the summary and then when you click on it we will see the actual body along with uh, whatever else you have pasted there uh, copy uh, written there so we want it to look pretty much kind of like this and this is running on the same database engine obviously so it's very very easy to accomplish this if you just follow these instructions you'll be able to do this in no time okay so we're gonna there's a special way to do this but before we look at it I just want to show you how we have done the news section now remember all this data is handled in the controllers right so let's take a look at the news controller see it's a very simple command 
we are getting the news from the news model and we're using the get we're using a get uh, command to get the news and then we are putting it into the data array with the news as, uh, and we are sending it to the view remember the news view so the news view is here and we are getting the news from this right this is that we're putting it here so we're getting it here and we are displaying the articles all in one right so let's do it differently for stories now pay very close attention because this is where it's going to be different so we are going to call it stories equals new app models oops bible story and instead of putting get like we did with um, news in the like the news section we are going to do something special called paginate which is part of it is documented in the Katon uh, docs oops if you go to the Katon documentation and go to database if you scroll all the way down you'll see it's uh, described in short um, oh sorry this one um, oh and also you can use this to specify the number of pages how about we put five per page okay I'm gonna go back to the code before the paginate we are gonna actually mention how many pages we want okay uh, okay not sure if that's gonna work but let's try it and also um, offset we need to be true don't worry about that just copy uh, you know what I don't want to complicate it so let's just leave this out for now let's test it out, uh, without that okay just paginate true and don't worry too much about this like I said uh, just keep it to true I'm not going to explain it right now but in a future lesson I will talk more de in detail about that it's not too important right now okay so when we do it this way uh, we are going to get a very different structure from the news articles so you see the news articles uh, we are using the get we're going to do the same thing here but uh, Hold on. We're going to do the same thing here, but the actual data that goes into the view, this data is going to be very different in the structure. Okay? So, I will show you actually why it looks different. Now, this is a pro tip. Whenever you want to debug some data, uh, any kind of data, you can use the Katon VD. Okay? just put now here I want to actually debug stories because I want to know what it looks like I want to know what my stories look like and every time you do a VD if you're inside a controller for example you should ideally do an exit so it, you know the view doesn't get loaded and anything else doesn't execute so let's just keep this and let's refresh this section oh some kind of error what have we done wrong let's see app models bible story um, let's see we, do we have a model by oh sorry it's bible article right there's no such thing as bible story bible article there we go okay so now that we have the bible article running now we have all this data and this data is coming from this like if i hide this and what i did with those slashes and it turned green is i made it into a comment and what I, when you make something into a comment that code does not execute it's just there for you to view but it doesn't run so see it comes back to this page like everything is fine if you refresh but now if I uncomment it okay uncomment it it's like re enabling it again you see the the dump the data dump okay so now what we're gonna do is look at this data a little bit don't worry if you don't understand it but if you look at it just roughly you will see you know your title article title is there summary is there body is there author 
the dates it was created on and a little bit other information that you might even not understand that's okay and above that there's also a whole bunch of other information we are going to use this information to do our pagination just like in the admin dashboard with the next and back uh, so I built Katon's file database in a way that it generates it for you so you don't have to do a lot of this work manually so it's very easy it's gonna be like one two three and you're gonna have a pagination running so I'm gonna just uh, while this is here I'm just gonna disable this again we're gonna need it as we code but for now I'm gonna disable it again I'm gonna go um, did we have a article view Oh no, sorry. Uh, I'm going to close this migration. Now that it's installed, we don't need it. I'm going to close uh, the new section. What is this? Okay, here we are. So, in this section, I am going to create a container to hold all the uh, the article listings. Okay, and don't worry about this. What I'm writing is some HTML. Don't worry about it if you don't understand when I am when I start teaching you HTML I will explain it in more detail okay so for now I'm just gonna write call d12 um, what else do you want we want it to be text uh, left we want the text to be aligned left and oops okay all right now we have a container now I'm gonna create a loop and in this loop I want these stories see all the stories are in a section called data and in a key called data see uh, story one story sorry story zero story one so they're in in the section called data so I'm just going to I could actually just do it here stories and remember this this view is getting it from here okay and that is getting it from this so we just say stories data uh, should I call these articles I should right because these are just to stay same otherwise we get confused articles we'll change this also to articles this as well and the reason I'm changing it is because we were going to originally call it Bible stories and then we kind of in the database all this called Bible stories in this section I'm calling it in the database I'm calling it Bible articles and that's okay the user is never going to see that only you can see that in a way I did that so that you can understand the differences from the front end where you display the data and you and how it's separate from the actual data itself okay so it's important to understand that difference so these articles please follow uh, what I'm showing these Bible articles are going into this variable and they're going into this view uh, and now here actually I have to call it articles data as article okay so that's a loop which basically goes through all the articles that come through from from here from the pagination command oops end for each you end the loop now for each listing you just just create a little box uh, for each one just like the container but we want this text to be yeah let's let it be left aligned uh, that's okay oops oops there should not be a slash here but there should be a slash here because that's a closing tag right so inside inside here now I am going to put an h2 tag which is a header 2 and uh, I'm gonna put PHP echo article and inside this I have the article title right 
so I'm gonna put title and close that and I'm gonna actually put a small small tag inside that I'm gonna say by author so now take a look at this I've echoed these things out and if now that I have disabled this if we refresh it we should get nine one two three four oh I have two fours this is actually five so it's this is ten here we're actually getting ten although it says nine I just wanna see if this works no that does not seem to be working so let's just leave that alone coming back to this we have 10 but now how do I see that uh, the 11 12 and 13 right there's no way to see it technically 14 because we have two fours but it's okay um, okay so for that we need to make this into a link but before we do that let's just put the summary in there okay P echo article article summary oh what did I do wrong oh yes put that there mm -hmm. and slash p to close the paragraph tag and now we have our summary now imagine if you also put the body in here I'm just gonna copy this the article body is gonna be way too much see now the the title author summary and then we also have this which is the whole the body section right it's way too much scrolling and way too much text on one page we should be able to click on these articles and view them individually so I'm gonna remove the body from here okay and now it should be shorter again so let's make this into a link now before making this into a link I want you to understand that each of these articles any database item will always have an ID an ID number so this article will have an uh, ID number hidden in the code so let's create a link for this this header we are going to make it into a link okay uh, let me not mess it up too much okay let me just do it all in one line um, actually no let me just do it separately just so that it's clear uh, okay so h2 begins h2 ends p begins p ends okay and we put the small in a separate line okay if we refresh it's all going to be the same just because I put those uh, new lines it doesn't make a difference in the HG HTML part of it <coughs> so I'm gonna create a new link chari f <coughs> that's the domain name the, the base domain name uh, that we want the domain name and then what is this section Bible stories right you can copy that actually and just paste it here like that okay now we have a link uh, and I want it only to apply to the title I don't want the author also to be part of the link so I'm gonna close it like that Oops. so if you refresh this see only this became a link but this is not a link if I want to make that also a link I can move the end of the tag here and save it and now the whole thing is an, a link but that looks a little bit too much so I'm just gonna just undo everything I just did oops maybe I ended too much oh boy anyway sorry about that okay there we go back to normal so you see the a tag we have the title inside there 
but we are still not done because now uh, if I click this it doesn't know where to go it's just going back to the Bible stories right so where does it go okay first of all we don't have a place for it to go we need to create a separate page for it to go so we come back here QPM create page okay and in this case we're gonna call it a story and the reason I'm calling it a story and not an article is because it doesn't matter in this case it doesn't matter because although the database is an article the front end has nothing to do with the database you can make it you can name it any way you want you could call it Bible uh, I don't know instead of article or story you could call it something else too it doesn't matter what you call it on the front side okay so we're creating a page called Bible slash story okay so now if you go up you'll see there is a Bible stories and a Bible story this green one is the brand new one and also if you scroll down uh, to views uh, there should be inside Bible yes stories has a main which is where we just did our work but also now we have a story which is basically a fresh page that was just created with the the default text right and we need to update this now we need to before we update this let's see uh, if it actually works first first of all we remember this link we created we need to update it and we are gonna tell the link to go to Bible story not stories we want to go to Bible story question mark because we are going to give it an ID equals and here we're going to use PHP again article ID I hope you understand what we are doing basically we are updating the link okay and we are sending it to the new page we created called story this page and we are sending it the sending that page this ID of this article so this will be article 1 we are sending ID 1 ID 2 ID 3 and so on ID 4 ID 5 although this is saying 4 the ID will be 5 because the ID is generated automatically so we save this we refresh the page if you click on this you'll see up here in the address bar it's ID 1 and we have this fresh page we created so it's just showing that because we haven't updated it yet but if you go back and click this again you see ID 2 again a fresh the same page with no data three no data now how do we make that page display exactly that specific article very easy so because when we created that page Katon also created a controller for you right so just like stories now we have story again just like any other controller at the beginning it's going to be blank so you have to tell this controller what it needs to do now I'm going to pull from the database so I'm going to create a uh, variable called article equals new app models oops Bible article right and here I'm going to actually tell it to get a specific ID so I'm going to tell it to look into the uh, ID field so if you go to the dashboard see these are the IDs right see ID 1 2 3 4 5 look ID 1 is article 1 ID 2 is article 2 ID 3 is article 4 ID 4 is article 4 ID 5 is article 4 again but this is because I made a typo now if I'm gonna update it I'm gonna have to make this 5 6 7 and I'm gonna have to do all of them I'm not gonna do it because I'm sure you understand what's going on so I'm just going to keep it like that but coming back to this I'm telling to look for ID from here okay but what about uh, this thing that we sent through the link so this link is giving you this ID right so I'm going to tell it to get it from the browser address bar where it was sent basically and what next then we need to just say first because we only want the first one there's only one but by using first 
we're getting a much more cleaner we're only getting one we're only getting one article and the array is going to have a proper structure that is suitable for just one article so we go back to the data and we say article and we pass this article into the data okay remember we can pass anything we want into the view now the view remember the one we just created which is empty now it has specific information for this specific ID article only okay so now what we can do is let's try putting the title here go article title super fun right so now if you refresh this it's gonna say test Bible article 1 go back click on it article 1 this one article 2 and so on okay super cool right and inside this paragraph tag this p tag it's a paragraph tag we are gonna call the body now we don't really need the summary the intention of the summary was for the listings page so we are gonna just directly call the dollar article body you know what and I also want to put in the author again right here um, yeah that's fine I was thinking maybe I should put it at the bottom but no it's fine let's just put it here uh, article um, what was it again author author there we go oops see I didn't match the quotes so it's kind of messed up now it's fixed if you refresh the page okay there we go now we need to actually fix this if we want it to be we don't want it to be centered right so we just remove this so it's not centered and maybe you just want this to be centered the H1 there we go so now we have a nice clean article with the centered title and I don't want to have this bit so we are going to remove that and voila you have your article 1 if you click here you have your article 2 click here you have article 3 etc all of them are there up to 9 which is actually 10 don't forget because I have two fours right so there's 10 on this page but now how do I go to the next page pretty simple so you remember what I did here to debug it let's enable that again by uncommenting it we uncomment it. oops oops did I do that right okay yeah, that's fine we uncomment it it's gonna break the page oops what's happening oh yeah refresh this page huh oh yeah because we never updated the stories so remember we didn't change the earlier when I changed it I didn't change the variable so there's no variable called stories anymore here there we go good so now there's a whole bunch of stuff here you don't have to worry about it too much it's a little bit complex uh, but it's actually simple once you get the idea of what's happening but for now I'm I just need two things I'm not gonna do it exactly like the dashboard with uh, the page numbers like this I'm gonna do only previous and next for now okay so previous and next we just need this information these two information uh, these two things okay so here we go so first of all I'm gonna disable this again I'm gonna comment it out again all right and we'll go to the uh, view this time and um, sorry not this view we gotta go to the stories view and at the bottom of that uh, you see this remember this controller we're gonna copy this control uh, sorry not control I'm sorry a container see this container that's holding all this code I'm just gonna copy this I'm gonna create two links oops I'm gonna create two links I'm not gonna put anything in the links right now I'm just gonna call it previous and but don't worry we are gonna add code to it soon next so this way we can go back and forth right 
uh, refresh so we have two links previous next it's not going to do anything right now they're empty links so how do we make them work easy we uh, make sorry base URL remember we had to always use the base URL and then we are going to say go to this slash shouldn't be here sorry we should say go to Bible story uh, was it story yes story see Bible story and also ID 1 uh, sorry 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 not ID 1 Bible I'm sorry I forgot what I was doing um, Bible stories because we are doing the pagination right so Bible Bible stories and then we put a uh, PHP again articles okay and um, let me enable this one more time so we can get the exact key for previous to request previous we need this one okay so we go back to this we just put request previous and I'm gonna just copy this whole thing because I don't want to redo it manually and now request this one should be next see right here I'm gonna say request next and we we'll call this next as well so we go back to this page sorry uh, refresh this page nothing happened because of course I forgot to disable this by commenting without we refresh it and voila next page uh-huh we have four articles the reason it says 13 you know why because there's two fours on the previous page so you see it's doing the same pagination as the dashboard but only previous and next and also maybe we should make this centered right just to make it look nicer so let's just center it center it and also let's make this into buttons and don't worry if you don't understand exactly what I'm doing with that uh, I will teach you those things very slowly as we move forward uh, these are basically references to something called bootstrap which helps uh, make the page look nice okay so there we go now you have two buttons sort of like this not exactly but we have two buttons do you want to call it fully previous and next just like this why not right let's just call it previous previous and next saved refreshed and we have two buttons I feel like it's just li nicer if we just have four letters because then they are both the same size so let's just keep it previous and next like this uh, okay there we have it we have two buttons previous and next and they also work and when you click on it you see your article you see your article body and the summary is not there if you really want to display the summary here also you can pretty easy actually why not why don't we just do that we're gonna create another p tag here uh, and uh, article summary and uh, close the P I'm gonna also make it uh, gray text okay so you have your summary also and then you have the actual article content as well so now as you can see I've created uh, a beautiful Bible section and of course we got to change this now we don't want it to say error coming soon we have Bible stories which are actually Bible articles in the database right so hopefully this tutorial helped you understand what's happening behind the scenes and how to do it I'm not going to save this work uh, I'm going to actually erase everything I just did so that you can create it yourself 
if I went too fast, I'm sorry, but I know you're very smart and that you can learn by watching what I did. If you don't ans understand anything, just let me know. And uh, if you have questions, let me know. But uh, following this video, you should be able to create the Bible section exactly as I did. And uh, if you want to make any changes, uh, anything you want to add more fields, uh, go ahead. If you want to make it uh, different, whatever you want to do, this Khatan framework uh, gives you full the full power of PHP and you can have the full power of CSS and the full power of JavaScript and the full power of HTML. Everything is at your fingertips. Um, but I recommend just learning step by step and keeping it simple. So if you compare what we just did with our new section, you see instead of having every single thing on the same page now, we have a beautiful list that you can navigate and also view individual articles. So have fun. Thanks for watching. Love you. God bless and have lots of fun coding is super fun so good luck and god god bless and when you're done don't forget to save all your work and just do upload and press enter i'm not going to do that i'm going to erase everything i just did because you're going to do this yourself have fun